<clears throat> hey guys, back out at Hern Main's garage. Um, this is going to be a quick video. I just want to go over my Harbor Freight 34 inch US General Master Tool Cart. Just a few things I've done to it. A uh, few things here. First off, this little cup holder deal just slides right over. I have two of them here. Anyway. That came off of the uh, Grant's detailing seat from Harbor Freight. It was just one of the attachments and found out, you know, by mistake or whatever, that it's pretty awesome. Obviously, if you close the lid, you'd have to remove it, but works good. Second, uh, these little magnetic cup holders are just awesome. I threw safety glasses in them. I got a neck light that I'll throw in here, whatever. Anything magnetic's good. Third, also from Harbor Freight, the uh, towel holders. Just flip them up like this and put all your extension cords and everything on it and they just move around. And they're plenty strong to hold all that stuff. Plenty strong. My shelves are the favorite, as uh, my favorite thing that I've done to this. Originally, I mounted this thing uh, using the holes for where the handle would go on this side, but I wanted it up taller. I wanted it up even. So I mounted it, and all I did was I took this shelf, I closed the lid because I want to be able to close the lid. And I have a bunch of stuff in here. Close the lid, take the shelf, place it, hold it up where you want it. Get you a paint marker and just mark all the holes, drill them. And what I did was I used riv nuts, which riv nuts are awesome. So I riv nutted it. And there we go. It folds down great. Then I mounted a second shelf. Now I line mine up with that third drawer, the top of the third drawer. Plenty of space to put whatever you want, parts, extra junk. Can't have enough shelf on these things. Um, I would have put a shelf over here, but then I would have had to move the handle. And I like having the handle there and I'm not doing anything stupid with it. So I just put these over here works great if you got to fold them down um i fold the second one first obviously this one and it lays down fine to move it if you have to i don't ever have a reason to let these shelves down third thing i put this can holder on the bottom this is something i had it's a can holder i've actually had for years off another box um again drilled holes right I've, put it up there, mount, uh, mark the holes, drill it, rip nuts. If you guys ain't got a rip nut tool, go get you one some. Harbor Freight's got a really good one with a nice case. I kind of would wish I bought that. But uh, I bought this off Amazon for, I don't know, it's probably 40 bucks. It comes with all the dies and all the rip nuts. And I just got this crappy box for now to put it all in. I'm gonna, probably gonna use Organizer like that from Harbor Freight to organize all the rib nut sizes and things. Anyway, highly recommend doing that stuff. Last little thing I'll tell you is with the drawer uh, latches. Obviously, these things got one similar snap on that you know you grab and push over. I removed them, and all you got to do is just grab it, pull them out. They'll snap right out of there. Um, the reason why I did that is I just didn't really like them. Um, I mean, they work fine, but these drawers have a detent with them uh, themselves. See? I mean, no problem. So I just removed them, and if you gotta move the cart, man, just, you know, lock the doors. That's what that's for, so. And these close fine with weight. Let's see, has it got higher doors got a little bit of weight? Perfect. 
So I highly recommend the two shells, best thing I've done so far. Uh, let me know in the comments if you agree or any other things that you guys have done to these carts. That is awesome. Um, like, share, and subscribe. I'm not going to be that weird guy, but, you know, I'm trying to get this uh, channel going. I do tool reviews of uh, swords when I get them, uh, but mainly it's a car channel, you know. I mean, I have a regular job. Um, and I do this stuff on the side. I'm building that thing right there. Uh, of course, the S10's outside for now, but you can check my channel and watch the uh, Turbo S10 I'm doing. So I do body work, mechanical work. Uh, I build a little bit of everything. And, you know, I'm not going to knock out a project in a week. I mean, but, you know, when you're scrolling around, You'll see one of my things pop up. You'll probably enjoy it if you like all this kind of stuff. So, later on, I will update you on this thing here. Uh, what I've done with it this week. Done all I can with it. And I need to do a toolbox review on this thing. Um, with the Husky lockers that I've mounted to it and I, I built a hutch that I'm halfway done with so yep like comment subscribe later